Hi guys, it's Primal Bushcraft today. I want to talk about some herbal remedies and some um, edible plants. First, we have uh, the common dandelion. Like, dandelion is 100% edible. The root, the leaves and the um, head and stalk. I personally like the head the best out of the whole like flower because, well, it's just, it's, the root is really bitter, but you can make a nice coffee, and the leaves are like pretty bitter. But when the, if you boil the flower head, it kind of tastes like this is the best way I could describe it. It's like a bean crossed with a Brussels sprout. But anyway, let's move on to the next. Hi guys, we're back. This edible is tickweed, some people call it, or goose grass. They do have, in like a certain time of the year, they form like little green ball seed things. What well, most of you probably know about if you don't just stay in home and watch telly all day, like me. But that's all they am doing. Okay, anyway, they do stick to like clothes, so that's one way. The little like seed ball things you can grind into like a tea or coffee, um, but. It is edible, it's better to actually like put it in the fire for like a couple seconds to take off the little hairs that stick. It's stick weed because, well, it sticks. Like, so I've just gone into the little corner of my farm. Well, it's not really a farm, but anyway. This one is pretty simple but some people might not know it's stinging nettles stinging nettles um, can be used for lots of different aspects if you can boil them and they kind of like spinach once you burn away the um, hairs the reason stinging nettles sting is because they are acidic it has like the little needles but it's like that's why when you get stung, you use a dot leaf because it's an alkaline and it neutralizes it. But this is, you can use the stem and pound it down to get the actual fibers and make that into a cordage. And I'm not very good at making cordage, but this is like good for just some other little edibles. And anyway, let's go to the next one. This next um, survival item is plantain. Here is the head of it. I can't really see my iPad back because the sun just came out. But some people might know, know that. There's goose ramped in goose grass in the background. Here is one of its leaves. What you would normally use. You chew it up and place it onto your wound or cut or sting or burn. And it's meant to have healing properties to like, well, help to like decrease the stinging and stuff. I'll see if I can get a better example. Here, we have a better example of the plantain. It's, um, the good survival uses is, is the sting and burn properties. So it's not like toxic, otherwise you wouldn't be able to like chew on it and put it in your cups. Here we are is the elderberry. I'm not gonna get a close up, really. I can just zoom in so it might be a bit blurry because I don't want to go through the field with all the horses. Like this is my horse right here, Joey. We might sell it, but I'm not sure. Here is the actual bundle. You can't eat it while it's green. It is elderberry. You can you can make a tea or champagne or wine out of the flowers or the berries, but you can only have like eat the berries when they are like fully purple. <laughs> Just keeps touching my hand. I'll see if I, I'll get a better close up of a leaf. Here is a, a close up example. You can see that the leaves are quite like sharp, almost like a sting nettle, sting nettle, and serrated. If you break a stalk, you can see that it has um, a, like a large piffin. So they are pretty thin. Um, 